Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. We're looking at creating a meeting cadence planner. When you're starting in a new team or starting a new project and managing a new team, it's great to come together and plan out when we're going to meet and how our way of work is going to look like. This is the perfect tool for that. We've got our week planned out from Monday to Friday and we could add more weeks if we really wanted to. And the day planned out from any time we like, let's say eight o'clock, all the way down to the end of the day. But the best part is we've got these particular items or meetings which we can create any type of meeting or ceremony or catch up that we like. And we can agree on these and when they fit with our team and we can move them around until we're happy with where our meetings sit. Now the last great bit is we can actually look at different time zones for different teams across the country or across the world. If this one is in Eastern time, then this one could be in central or mountain or any other time frame we choose. By changing this to central, it'll change the time frame. And now we can see on the right hand side where these meetings fit. So now we can check with multiple teams in multiple areas across multiple time zones. This is such a wonderful way to help set up your team. I absolutely cannot wait to share this with you. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is set up the heading area and we're just going to go from C2 all the way to I. Let's just give ourselves a nice light blue to start with. If we merge and center this and click all the way in the middle, we can call this our meeting cadence planner. Let's put this in the middle. Maybe we'll make the text white just so that it stands out ever so slightly. And that's a great start. Our next two rows, our first one, let's give that a nice dark blue. If we merge and center this, this can be our week one or week two, depending on whether we want more than one week in our planning. Our next row is just going to be the days. So day one, day two. If we're working in sprints, that might mean we have 10 days or two weeks in a sprint. So we could do it over multiple weeks, but we're just going to plan out for one week at this stage. Let's give these two rows a nice sandy color just to get us started. And this is going to be our first day. Depending on the first day that you choose, if you're working in sprints again, you could start your sprint on a Wednesday or a Thursday. It's up to you, but whatever you choose, have your first day as you like just here. Now we're going to create some borders to get our calendar started from row number four all the way down to row number 37. Let's select this particular area and we're going to go to our borders. Let's go to more borders. Let's make a, a nice light color, maybe, maybe a light gray here, a solid bar. And we just want all of our inside and all of our outside borders so that we can see what we're working with. We might make it a little bit less gray, so maybe one less gray. And now it's starting to look good. On the left hand side, let's go all the way down to the bottom. We're going to give ourselves a nice light gray here as well. And on the right hand side, another light gray area. This is where our timings are going to go. With these side areas, let's select this area all the way down to the bottom. We're going to right click format cells. We're going to go to the number and with our time on the left hand side here. What we want is the hour, the minute, and an AM or PM. We can change this to suit if we like, just by having one hour and two minutes with no seconds and an AM slash PM. And that will give us the exact scenario that we want. Now we're free to add these all the way down to the bottom. One, two, three, four. Every four quarters or four lots of 15 minutes, we're going to add another hour. And if we click this and drag this all the way to the end, then we can just copy those and make our job ever so slightly easier. Now we've got some beautiful timings on the left hand side. We'll select these. Let's make them a nice deep blue again, maybe make them bold. And our calendar is really starting to look good. Let's color every second hour just a nice light green to differentiate each hour so it's easy to see the difference between all of the meetings that we're going to be putting in. 
Now, how do we do the different time zones? This is the really fun part. First of all, let's create a nice list of the time zones that we're going to want. Let's say time zones here. And if we're starting with Eastern on the left hand side, this could be depending on your country or your situation, change this to suit any time frame or time zone that you're using. In Australia, we have Australian Eastern Standard Time and Daylight Savings Time and a few others that we have to work with. Let's base our one on America just for now. And if we've got time zones, we might have Eastern, we might have Central, we might have Mountain and we might have Pacific. Let's format these in the way that we want. And this is going to be our drop down list. For this particular side, if we copy across our Eastern, that'll copy across the formatting for us. We can put that on the left hand side. But what we really want, if we delete that, we're going to go to data and we're going to go to data validation, data validation here. And in this particular cell, we want to allow a list and that list, the source is going to be our time zones. So central, mountain or Pacific. If we click and drag and hold those, and then if we click OK, now we have a drop down list that will give us central, mountain or Pacific. Let's start with central. And to change our time zones on the right hand side, we're going to use a formula. So let's select the right hand side that's the same row as our 8am. Go to our formula bar and I'll talk you through what we're doing here. First, what we want to do is check is if this time zone equals K4, which in this case is central time, then we want to add time of one hour to this time on the left hand side and no minutes and no seconds. But if this box here equals K5, which is mountain time, then we want to add to this cell two hours and no minutes and no seconds. And lastly, if it's Pacific time, which is the third one here, we want to add to our 8 a.m. three hours. And I hope I've got these timings correct for my American friends. Please correct me if I've got this wrong. So if we click enter here, now we've got 9 a.m. for central time. And we'll just put this on the left and make sure that that's formatted correctly. We can even use our format painter if we click on this cell, double click on format painter, and then just drag all the way down. Now that should be the same all the way down. We're going to copy this cell down to our other cells and the formulas should adjust automatically for us just in the way that we've created that formula. And as you can see, each one is adding an hour to our Eastern time on the left hand side. Now let's check that this is working. If we've got central time, maybe we want to change that to mountain time. And now it goes up another hour, Pacific time, another hour again. Now there's one last thing that we really want to do to make our planner complete. Firstly, let's go to view and just get rid of the grid lines so that it looks really nice and sharp. But we're going to go to insert shapes and let's give ourselves a nice rounded rectangle here. If we select that rounded rectangle and place it anywhere we like to start with, this is going to be how we're planning our meeting. Let's make sure that it's the right size. So we'll decrease the size just a little bit on the right hand side. Now we can right click. Let's give the outline maybe a dash and a deep blue for the outline. And we can color it anything we like on the inside. Let's start with a little bit of a greeny color. If we double click in here, now we can give us our first meeting by typing that in. It's come up a little bit white, so we just want to change the text. We can make that uh, either a dark gray or anything that you like. And now we've got something that we can move around our chart and look at the eastern side or the Pacific side for our time frames. And once you have those, you can move those around with your team. Make sure that we have a good consensus on when we need to meet, how often and what we need to do as a team together. And that is our meeting cadence planner across multiple time zones. I've had an absolute blast creating this with you today and I hope you've enjoyed yourself as well. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.